Sports. Hey YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on notifications to let you know when I post another video. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy True Guys Benjamin. And today we're going to be playing some Road to Glory on College Football 25. Now let's get started by choosing the caliber of recruit you want to be. Boost what you can do. Next, it's time to choose the position you'd like to play. Fender. Or <laughs> maybe a now you'll pick what type of player you'd like to be. Here, we'll customize your bio info, gear, and appearance. Now it's time to pack your bags and head off to college. Good luck on your career. I'll be rooting for you. Welcome to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And there's a little something more in the air than a gentle breeze off the Black Warrior. It's the opening of another Crimson Tide football season under the lights in Bryant-Denny Stadium. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here. And you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from Conference USA, the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. They get a big win here and start the season on a positive note. You gotta love that as the players. You come out, you have so much. The Tuscaloosa, Alabama, where legends are made and titles are won. Bryant Denny Stadium, home of the Alabama Crimson Tide. Today, we have one of those games that test your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the AAC, the South Florida Bulls taking on the fifth-ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you, alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer, and guys can't wait to get this one started. Winning can become a habit. Now they've won back-to-back -back games and probably building a little confidence from them. And you want it to be a habit. That's what you talk about as a coach week after week. Let's build. Let's create momentum and continue to build on it, continue. And then you look up at the end of the season, you never know where you could be, what dreams you could bring to reality. Ways to win games. And over these last two games, it hasn't always been easy. They've had to overcome some adversity. Welcome to Madison and Camp Randall Stadium. Always rowdy, always ready to support the Badgers. They've been getting ready for this game since the early morning. And wow, do we have a fun one here ahead. A top 10 team walking into the snake pit of an environment just trying to get out alive. This will be fun. We'll see the number four team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on the 22nd ranked team, the Wisconsin Badgers. Three Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herb Street. And I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. So this team is beginning to stack wins now against really high-quality opposition. You wonder what the ceiling for this group is. Yeah, I think you're right. This is a football team right now that's playing with a lot of confidence. I like the way that they are progressing. 
We'll just have to see how far they can continue to progress and where it'll take them. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Welcome to Bryant Denny Stadium, home of the Crimson Tide. This place is charged up and ready for a big game today. This is not just any other matchup. Both teams come in ranked in the top 10, colliding early in the season, each trying to set the tone with a big statement. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Georgia Bulldogs. Take on the third ranked team, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. Well, Kirk, we thought it might be this kind of a game. Very small margin for error in this game. Who was going to make the crucial play at the end? And they did it to get the W. Yeah, Chris, when games get tight like we saw here, it really comes down to who's the better coach team. Who's going to execute better? And just as importantly, not letting the moment get to your head. That's a nice win for this head coach and his team. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Welcome to Nashville, Tennessee, Music City, USA, and home to the Commodores of Vanderbilt, who hope today they will hit all of the right notes. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Vanderbilt Commodore. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis. Just complete and utter dominance in this one. Outplayed their opponent and took care of business. Yeah, total domination in all three phases of the game. Offense, defense, and special teams. This team came ready to play, and man, it was pedal to the metal right from the opening kickoff. Play could decide just frying pan meat face, ball game over. On this campus, the legends literally cement their handprints on the legacy just a few steps away from Bryant-Denny Stadium. This is the home of the Alabama Crimson Tide. Today, a showdown between a pair of undefeated Giants in a game that should have long-lasting implications. As we'll see, the number 13 team in the country, the South Carolina Gamecocks, taking on the winners of five straight, the Alabama Crimson Tide. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Seven is the lucky and skilled number for this squad as they've made it to this point in the season, and they are still perfect. Still perfect, and they're cooking. You can tell they got some momentum. You know, seven weeks, obviously, that does, that's not the whole season. You got bigger fish to fry down the road. Great start, but you can tell this team's for real for real. No doubt, and they deserve for us all to be talking about them right now because they look as advertised. This is a team with tremendous talent. They've taken care of business up to this point. <laughs>